What's up, everybody? Welcome back to The Walking Dead Season 2. This is Episode 2 of Season 2. Episode 1 left off with a pretty big cliffhanger with Pete being bit, and then him and Clementine were kind of running off together. The previews for Episode 2 was making it out to be there was actually somebody that visited the house. I'm having a feeling that it's probably the Carver situation. They didn't touch on this Carver situation or maybe why the group is actually running from this Carver person. But I'm guessing that is probably it. There are things that we should probably keep an eye out for, one of which is Krista. I mean, she's still lost. And then the other gentleman, I believe his name is Nick, he kind of ran off on his own, but I'm thinking that he is possibly okay. Hopefully he makes it back to the house. But us and Pete, are, well, we're in a pretty bad situation, at least Pete. And I'm just curious to see where this is gonna go. And then, of course, the whole thing with Clementine saying, I thought you were dead. So somebody is coming up that we knew in our past that we thought was dead. There's, it could really, I'm really hoping that it's late. Obviously, I know it's definitely not. Clementine put him down. But, of course, all this time, I'm just sitting here thinking like, oh, please, please be late, please be late. Hopefully he somehow went into Superman mode and healed himself, you know. But that's wishful thinking. So let's just start the season, let's get into it. I'm really excited to see where this is gonna go. It's pretty suspenseful music here, so yeah. It looks like we have new people, and they, well, they're probably spying on us. A house divided, yeah, this is gonna go good. Let's do it. Previously on The Walking Dead. I'm freezing. Wait till we get up to Wellington, then talk to me about cold. I'm gonna go look for more wood. Where's the rest of your group? I, I'm by myself. Bullshit. Krista, run! I'm out. Grab her. Let's go. Would someone mind telling me what the fuck is going on here? She was bit by a dog. For all we know, she could be working with Carver. So, since you're pretty much on your own, what's your plan? Maybe I could stay here for a little bit, if that's all right. I've got no problem with it. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. Think about it. You're Carver, what do you do? Who's Carver? You were in the woods with Krista. Please. Ah! <laughs> I'm fine. I'm fine. Just... just lost my footing. Damn it. God damn it. Come this way! Damn it, you get your asses over here, both of you! PD. Hopefully Pete makes it through this. It's a lower bite. It's on his basically almost his foot. The lower part of his ankle, so I would think that bodes pretty well for Pete. Maybe. Well, they shouldn't be able to get through that. On the downside, we can't get through them. What are you looking at? Staring ain't polite. How are you feeling? What are Come you going to do? Say it. How are you feeling? Well, other than this bite, I'm just peachy. 
Hand me that there. It's worth a shot. Cutting it off won't work, are you sure? It's worth a shot. It's worth a shot, I guess. I got nothing to lose. Other than my piggly wigglies, of course. Bleed out like a stuck pig. What are you gonna do? Carry me out of here on your back? Hell. It's just. Just give me a minute. Try to get some rest. There's a lot of stuff in here. I'll try to find something to help. Can't we just go out the front? I mean, they're occupied back here. It's only two of them. We can go out the front and keep running. Can we not? Come on, Pete. Let's leg it. Unintended. Are you alright, Pete? Oh, Nick. That stupid kid. Is there anything in here? We got water. Seriously. I know it's probably an overused watch, but what is the significance of this watch? Like I said, it looks like Lee's watch from the first season. When he cut his arm off, it was just laying there. <coughs> Anything in that? Sorry. It's empty. <coughs> Damn. I'll keep looking around. We gave it to the other gentleman. Sorry, Pete. You're not gonna be able to cut it off on your own, probably. But we carried Lee, and we were younger when we carried Lee, but we only carried him a little... a little ways. There was a box back there. What's in there? Anything we can use? Give me one of those. Probably tastes like pine tar by now, but I'd smoke a dead coon's tail if you had one. Hand it here. You shouldn't. Why? <laughs> they gonna kill me? <sighs> Give me those. Got a light? There, Pete. <laughs> well, that tastes about as bad as it smells. Now what? <sighs> we wait. And we totally missed the front. So there was something in the front, we uh, missed it. Solemn. Don't be dead, please, Pete. Are you alive? Don't be dead, please. <laughs> oh, damn it. I feel like ten pounds of shit in a five pound sack. <coughs> Jesus. Stuck in this can the whole damn day. You want to hear something funny? 
I've been thinking. And I don't want to die. <laughs> I never thought I'd be the kind of idiot to say something like that, but there it is. I'm scared, Clementine. What does it feel like? Jesus, You're going to be I'm okay? Scared. You're going to be okay. Oh, at least spare me the bedside bullshit. Sorry. Would you... Would you promise me you'll watch out for Nick? I love that stupid kid. No matter what you think, he is a good boy. He's we'll watch been out playing for a tough hand, but he is a good boy. I'll do what I can. Thank you. Been almost a day. They ain't gonna find us. Where are you going? I'm not getting out of this. You're gonna have to make a break for it. I'll buy you some time. You're coming with me? Thank you, Pete. Come on, Pete, come with me! You're coming with me. To do what? Die a couple hours later than now? To say goodbye to Nick. All right. I'll try. Well, like my daddy used to say, <clears throat> we're burning daylight. Let's get this over with. You back in the truck? I'll find him. You have to try. I said go. God damn it, go! Well, that's really shitty. Pete's already gone. That didn't go as well as planned. The house divided. I really feel like they could have got out of there. They didn't really try to get out the front of the car. And truck. Do you know what I mean? Why didn't they open the back and distract them and then go out the front? Clementine, are you alright? Luke's not with you? Where's Alvin? What happened? It's been hours. Where are they? Clem! Pete got bit. What? What happened? Walkers. My god. Where were you? Where were you exactly? Down by the stream. We gotta go. Just hold on a minute. My husband is still out there! Get the guns! Luke and Alvin went out looking for you. I told them not to go. Damn it, Luke. Clementine, can you, can you please watch Sarah? She's upstairs. Just distract her and don't tell her anything. She gets nervous. I'll take care of her. You can trust me. Thank you. You'll be safe inside. Just don't open the doors for anything. We'll be back soon. And thank you. I'm alone. Say cheese! I found this under the house. There was all kinds of old stuff. It's so cool. Take one of me. <laughs> Come on, take one of me. Please? Take a picture of her. You want a picture? Sure. Get me in a good pose, okay? Okay, I'm ready. Ah. 
What's wrong? Um, where's my dad? You should know what's going on. He'll be fine. They're fishing. Clem, you're scaring me. He'll be fine. Are you sure? <sighs> Sorry. I, I, I just need to... You want to see what I found? Will you show me how to use it? I couldn't find any bullets. If something's wrong, I should know. What if I have to use one? Okay, but it's not a toy. I know. First, remember, it's just a thing. What does that mean? Um, I don't know. I thought it'd be heavier. Okay. What do I do? The most important thing is, when you go to shoot, take a breath before you pull the trigger. <sighs> Not that big. <sighs> what should I shoot? Don't do that! S -s -s sorry Sorry! Maybe I could practice outside. There's that tree. Hey, Luke's back! Sarah, take it easy with a gun. She was just waving it around. What should I shoot? Definitely not me. We lost Pete, friends. How are we gonna lose old Pete? I really do seriously think they should have tried to get out the front. Unless that was, that ain't Pete or Luke. Who the hell was that? Do you see that guy? Anyone home? There he is again. Chess board, hit it. Hit him with it. Wait. Hey, at least we showed Sarah how to defend herself somewhat. And it's so funny because Clementine repeated what Lee said to her. Because remember in the first season I told her to take a small breath before you shoot because it stabilizes the weapon. It don't you don't get a lot of jerk in the weapon when you shoot it like that. This guy's gonna pop up in a window somewhere and scare the hell out of us. That's him. not Luke. Clem, I think I know him. He can't see me. You have to make him go away. Why can't he see you? Who is he? Go hide. Go and find somewhere to hide. Where? No. Clem, I can't breathe. I can't, I can't breathe. Shh. Hello? Why don't you both hide? Lock the door. Anybody home? Hello there. Get out, I have a gun. Hello. Who are you? Who are you? Well, actually, I'm your neighbor. Neighbor? That's right. My family and I are set up a ways down river. I'm kind of surprised we haven't run into each other yet. What's your name? Close the door. What's your name? Carly? Clementine. Clementine? Well, you look just like a Clementine. You mind if I come in? Clementine? I've been out all morning, and this heat has got me cooked. Yes, I do mind. The hell? This is a nice place. Is there anyone else around? You don't usually see cabins this big out here. Just me and, and Dad. Yeah? What's his name? Ed. Strong name. I like him already. Where is he? He's out. Well, I'll cut to the chase. I'm out looking for my people. Seven of them, to be exact. They've been gone a long while, and I'm worried they might have gotten lost. 
Maybe you've seen them. A couple of farm boys and an old man. Spanish guy and his daughter. Quiet girl. A bit taller than you. Big black guy. This big. And a pretty little pregnant lady. That's a lot of people to lose. Tell me about it. This whole damn thing's a pain in the ass. You mind getting the fuck out? It's a lot of plates for two people. Looks like a tornado ran through here. Yeah, well, I'm supposed to be doing the dishes. Just passing through or you've been here a while? Hey, listen, kid. I hope you're not one of those nuts headed up north looking for Shangri-La. I'm not sure why you'd go anywhere after finding this place. Where do you live? Yeah, down by the river there. There's a sweet little spot with a boat where we pitched camp. Got a few tents up and everything else. And... Do you have a dog? Like I said, I'm surprised we haven't run into each other. Do you have a dog? No, I don't. What difference does it make? Just wondering. Where does this go? I'll take it. Uh, in the drawer there. Well, it's a real nice place. Kind of cozy. I knew a guy that always wore shirts like this. Doctor. Real smug son of a bitch. But a smart man. What happened to him? Let's just say we had our differences. Sooner or later, people close to you will find a reason to cross you. Happens every time. Well, well. White's in trouble. Three moves away from checkmate. What was that? I thought you said nobody's here. Probably the wind. I didn't hear anything. It's probably just the wind. Motherfucker, what do you think you're doing? This mother ever just walked up in our house, checking it out, and now pulling a gun out. Like he owns the joint. I told you, nobody's here. Seems that way. Didn't mean to be rude. Couldn't just leave you here with a good conscience if someone was poking around, right? Sure. Who's this? Must be someone who lived here. Well, it's a kid. Yeah. Looks like it was taken in this room. You have no idea who these people are, do you? I don't know what you're talking about. Let me ask you this. When you met them, how much did they trust you? They locked me out. What's your point? What's your point? If people don't trust you, how can you trust them? Well, I think I've troubled you long enough. I can let myself out. Don't come back. You have a real good day now. Where is he? He's gone. 
What if he comes back? We need to find the others. We can't go outside. Clementine. Sarah. Well, they told me about Pete. You know where he is, right? Come on, let's go. A man was here. What? What did she say? Someone came to the cabin. What? Clementine talked to him. And you just opened the door for him? Calm down, Rebecca. Calm down? I am calm. You calm down. I didn't open the door. He just came in. She's telling the truth. Did he say his name? Did he say what his name was? Maybe it wasn't him. You know damn well who it was. I didn't ask his name. You didn't ask his name? How could you not ask his name? He had a gun. I didn't want to make him mad. Look, Clem, just tell us what he looked like. What was he wearing? Did brown he sound coat? different? He had a big brown coat. Did it have a lining? A collar? Yeah, fur. He talked about you, Dad. You're not gonna hurt anyone, are you? Of course he won't, Sarah. All right, your dad's the nicest man I know, which is why he's not going to do anything crazy or not nice, right? You know these are bad people, sweetie. They will do or say anything to hurt us. All right, what do you think? Did it seem like he'd be coming back? He saw a picture of me. A picture? What were you doing taking pictures? Carlos. What? You need to calm down. All right, you're scaring your daughter. I took the picture. It's my fault. No, I asked her to. It's my fault. Sarah. He was scouting. We got lucky. He wasn't expecting to find us. Clementine must have surprised him. She hadn't been there. Well, he was too smart to stick around, but he'll be back with the rest. We don't have much time. He's right. Everyone pack up. We're moving out. Alvin, wait! Moving on out, are we? now, sweetie, before he comes back with more bad guys. But it's gonna be okay. Let's just go get your things. What does he want? To bring us back. Clem, I don't know what he told you, but William Carver is a dangerous man. He's the leader of a camp not far from here, and he's very smart. We were lucky to escape. Look, I'm sorry to involve you, but now that he's seen you, you'll be safer with us. We have to leave. We have to find Pete. We'll get him on the way out, Nick. Clementine, you know where he was, right? Yeah. All right. Everybody grab your stuff. Let's hit the road. This Carver sounds really dangerous. Maybe we should have kept asking his name. Maybe he actually would have told us. Get out. Don't come back. Now, you said it was just up here? Yeah, just a little ways. Hey, Clem. Sorry if I gave you some shit back there. I'm just a little on edge. I still don't like what you did, sneaking around on us and taking advantage of my husband. But I know you were in a tough spot. Why is Carver after you? After me? Oh, you mean us. It's a long story. He... He has a hard time letting go. I know you did your best back there. You know, none of us would make it on our own. Sometimes it's hard knowing just how dependent I am on everyone. I'm not used to that. I'm not comfortable with that. I'm supposed to be a mom soon. Guess I need to work on my patience. Alvin and I still don't know what to call her. Or him if that man gets his wish. God help me. Any ideas? Clem? It just rolled out. See you later. There. That's where we were. He's not in here. This was the last place I saw him. Maybe he's around here somewhere. He's around here walking. Keep your eyes open and stay in sight.
So I repeat. Anyone see him? Well, he's gonna be. He's gonna jump out. So be Uncle ready. Pete. Pete. Oh my god. W what happened? What the hell happened? He's been shot. He didn't have a gun. Who did this? Son of a bitch. We need to go. He's gone. Nick, he, he, he's gone. We gotta get moving. Come on, man. Must be the carver person. Tell me. Tell me how it happened. He saved my life. He was bitten and scared. He saved my life. Well, that was... that was Pete. I'm sorry. I'm worried about that kid. Keep an eye on him for me, would you? You sure you still want to come with us? Look, I know we got off to a rough start, and I can't make any promises it won't get rougher, but we all know you now. Yeah, I'm with you guys. And we are glad to have you. Not everyone is. Well, they'll get there. I figure we got about four or five days to reach those mountains. Now, if they're tracking us, we should be able to lose them up there. Five days? It's gonna be okay, Beck. We have to keep moving now. It's our only choice. I feel pretty bad for Nick. Maybe we should have said that he was coming after you. Because ultimately... He was trying to keep us safe, but he was also trying to get her Nick to say goodbye. Five days later? She just walking around pregnant for five days? Oh, that's rough. See anything? She better see something. We've been walking for a damn week. We've got to find some shelter. There's a cabin. Let's see. There's a little house by the bridge. How big is it? It's pretty small. Here, eat this back. But we're almost out of food. We gotta save it. There's the bridge. And does it look passable? I think so. Good. Does it look passable? Maybe. But there, this is, what is this, windmills? Oh, this is like a ski thing, isn't it? A ski lift? There's a lift or something. Chairlift? It must be that ski resort. I've never been skiing. Beck and I went once. It wasn't pretty. It wasn't pretty. Old Alvin fucking taking everyone out. Falling down the hill, taking out all the kids. <laughs> Ski Resort Lodge. There's a building on the mountain. What's it look like? It's big. That sounds like a good place to spend the night. We have to cross that bridge. Let's go. Hold on now. We can't all go sprinting across that thing, okay? If we get spotted out there, we're gonna be trapped. Going around that lake will take too long. Right, but... Look, we've got no idea who's out there. Okay, I'm gonna sneak across, make sure it's clear before we bring the whole group over. You think splitting up the group is a good idea? Well, I never said it was a good idea, but it's better than risking everyone at once. What's your plan? Clem and I can scoot across low and slow, make sure nobody's waiting for us on the other side. We'll have a tough time covering you from back here. Well, we'll just turn back if it gets hairy. 
Clementine should stay here. She's... She's what? She's just a little girl, Luke. She's a valuable little girl. I mean, hell, if she can sew up her own arm, she's fit to cross a bridge. I can do it. See? No problem. It's gonna be fine. Okay, we'll signal you guys in ten minutes. Just watch for a light at the far side. I can go too. You stay with the group. I'm fine, Luke. I don't like this. Yeah, well, when's the last time you liked anything, Carlos? If something happens, I'll cover you. Come on. Hey, uh, sorry about that. I just... I could really use your eyes, and right now I don't trust Nick to tie his own shoes. They're just still on edge after the Carver thing. It's been five days. Why would Carver still be following us? What's the most important thing in this world? What does Food, everyone safety, want? Family? Even the gangs. You know, what do you think they're all after? Family. It's a tough world out there without people you can trust. Anyways, you, you can ask Rebecca. Okay, I'm, I'm not gonna get in the middle of it. We've all made mistakes. Oh, I think I know what's going on. That we regret. It's not my place to talk about someone else's past, you know? Seems like we're already in the middle of it. Tell me about it. Hmm. Can't shoot them. Got some dead ones. Too much noise. There are only two. What do you think? I think we can take them. Let's whoop some ass. I'll take the big one. You get shorty. Wish we could use guns. We should be okay. Got it. I'll take the small one. Good. Let's do it. <laughs> Clem's got a hammer. You're about to get jacked up, sucker. Got stuck. Go ahead. Give us a good pull. It should come free. I know. I've done this before, remember? In a shed. By myself. <laughs> Nice work, kid. Ow. Luke's a good guy. He seems to really care for Clem. Look, we'll, we'll figure something out. Behind you! Oh, shit. Get it out. Give me that back. Damn it. Come on. Let their legs up now. Oh. 
痛快。Easy, easy. Here, give it here. <sighs> <sighs> Fucking intense, man. We lost our hammer. Thanks, Clem. Let's keep going. Well, I guess good thing we didn't bring everyone here. Because they would all be in the river. You see him? Yeah. Just play it cool. And you do the talking. What? Why me? Because I don't want to get in a fight. I mean, you really think he chewed a little girl? Just don't make any sudden moves. Barbara. And don't piss him off. And don't tell him anything. What should I say? I don't know. Ask him for directions. Well, who are you? Well, who's asking? I am. I'm Clementine. And this is Luke. Clementine and Luke. Can we be friends? Huh. You don't look like assholes. Are you assholes? No offense or anything, but you know how it is out here. You run into a lot of assholes. I'm not an asshole. Well, are you calling me an asshole? <laughs> you folks headed north like everyone else? Everyone else? I see at least one group a day move through here. You all look the same. It's like a great migration of the dazed and confused. Have you seen someone named Krista? Krista? Maybe. Really? No, I mean, a lot of people come through here. I don't know. I gotta say, you two look like shit. If you need food, I've got some canned stuff in that station back there. Well, that's, uh, awful nice of you. What's the catch? No catch. I've got plenty. Well, all right then. Thank you. Hey, no problem. Nice running into friendly faces out here. Like I said, I've got food and supplies back in the station. And if you want... What the fuck, man? What the hell is he doing? No, 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 he's, he's with us. Nick! No! Put it down! Nick, no! <laughs> what the fuck, Nick? Did I hit him? Where is he? I told you not to shoot. What? Who was that guy? Why didn't you wait for a signal? He was going to help us. How do you know? Damn it, Nick. I told you not to shoot. How was I supposed to hear you? You gave me a clear shot. That shot rang out for miles. We gotta get off this bridge. Let's go. You just killed that guy. What the fuck, Nick? Bit of a loose cannon. Trigger happy. Who the fuck was that back there? I don't know. Looked like he had a gun on you. That asshole drew on me. He was about to shoot. Oh, was he? I'm telling you, man, he drew first. Well, that's not what it looked like to me. Everybody calm down. What did you see, Clem? Was that guy gonna shoot? Fuck you, Luke. You've been on my case the whole week. And why do you think that is, Nick? He wasn't gonna do anything. I know what I saw. Either way, you could have hit one of us. Yeah, but I didn't. Look, I I know Pete was close to you, Nick, but you can't- Don't fucking talk about him. You think he was with Carver? I don't know. I- No, I don't think so. But he fell over. He fell off the damn bridge? We have to keep moving. I can't. I need a minute. Fine. 
Luke, can I talk to you alone? Yeah, that was a nice guy too. Hey, Clem, you got anything to eat? Bex is dying here. Alvin, I told you I'm fine. Sorry, I'm out. Wish we still had those juice boxes. Yeah, me too. That man said he had food in the station. Mind checking it out? Maybe we could spend the night here. He may be a lying. Small force, though. Why don't you go look? Sure. You could use a little downsizing. You're uh. one to talk. Sure. Thanks, Clem. Anything for you, Alvin. Nick, what the fuck, sir? Why did you do that? Rebecca, are you okay? I'm alright. I just need a little rest. And some food. Alvin. Rebecca's being quite nice nowadays. Even though we- Oh, there's an axe right there. Come on, go pick it up, Lee Jr. You got anything else, Alvin? And, and the bunch? Hey, Clem, you check out that station yet? Not yet. I'm working on it, Alvy. Nick, you just shot that guy, which was going to help us, and this is his cabin we're about to go rob. I had to kill my mom. <laughs> Sounds weird when I say it out loud, huh? Luke always used to push me. I never wanted to go into business with him. I remember when he sold me on it. His big plan. Some fucking plan. Case of beer in, he just said, Nick, we're burning daylight. And that was that. After six months, we were flat broke. I didn't care. We were having fun. I wish I was like him. I wish I could just keep moving all the time. I'm just not built like that. I'm sure they're talking about me right now. Luke, he's becoming a danger to the group. So who was that guy? I swear. It looked like he was holding you guys up. I figured he was with Carver. He seemed nice. Damn. If Alvin is in front of me, he takes that shot. What a fucking mess. Maybe I am losing it. I don't know anymore. God, I'm hungry. What time is it anyway? Damn. Damn. What's wrong? I left my watch back at the cabin. It was Pete's. He gave it to me. You have watch? I found it back at the cabin. Let me grab it. What? Really? Thank you. This means... Thank you, Clem. You know what? I'm gonna go talk to them. We're gonna build uh, Nick up. Make him strong. Let me get that axe. Come on. Pick it up. You know you want to, Clem. Nick seems like he's on the edge. He's been through a lot. Yes, he has. We need to be mindful of that. I just, you know... He's a bit trigger happy, and that's kind of just something not to be happy about. The trigger? Seriously. I think he needs to calm down a little bit, but he's been through an ordeal, and we can't be one to judge because we've been through an ordeal too. We most definitely have, but we're also not very trigger happy right now. Anyways. I'm feeling some kind of story arc for him. As in, I feel like we could possibly mold him, maybe bring him back from the brink because he's losing it. And that's good. I like that. I really do. And we need to discuss this whole... Before we go in here, let's go over here and discuss something. Because it's plain, it's plain to say. Rebecca is... Well, she's pregnant. Carver wants to find the group. She doesn't know whose kid this is. And it's funny because they gave us an option that said family. While talking to Luke. Maybe, just maybe, this Carver 
and Rebecca had something going, and that kid is not actually Alvin's, but it's Carver's. And Carver is here tracking her down, and the rest of the group. It's pretty obvious, because the way she talked to us about... Was he looking for me? Type of stuff, you know? That was a bit sketchy. And worrying. She was very much worrying about him finding her. Coming after her, basically. I mean, obviously this Carver is going after the whole group. I could be totally wrong, but the whole situation with the baby's not Alvin, she doesn't know, and then the whole family thing, I feel like that was a foreshadow for why he's actually trying to find them. In my mind, I feel like this Carver has something going on with Rebecca. Somebody in that group, or it could be this group, but I doubt it. If it was anyone in this group, it would be Luke. But I still don't think it's anyone in this group that may have hooked up with her and well she's thinking that the kid might be theirs i'm thinking that it's the whole carver and i think that's why they are coming after them but why they tried to leave is another story it's another tale probably i don't think it's fully because she wanted to leave because she was pregnant maybe possibly could be a thing but that's just what i think on it i think carver has some kind of something with this baby maybe and rebecca it's just the way everything was laid out to us to this point. It just really felt like they're foreshadowing something with the baby and possibly Carver. Did you see the camera? Friend, we just killed you. And that's really fucking unfortunate. Radio? I guess he slept here. And we just killed him. It's dead. Why don't you put some batteries in it? Did you see how we could have said our name was Carly? Oh. That is... Thank you, game, for wrecking my soul again. We have food here? Empty cans? The man said he had lots of food. There's gotta be something left. He ate the hell out of some peaches. Trunk. Survival knife. WM? Let's take it. Feels pretty good. That's a pretty badass knife, Clem. Clem, you got all types of stuff. You got lighter. Empty ass bottle, some binoculars, and a bad ass survival knife. Anything else? Then the fireplace? No? Man, why did he have to kill that gentleman? A little reckless, though. Open sesame! The Wizard's Gambit? Is that what it says? Man, and I thought we had a bed. Look at this dump. Guess he did have food. Man, fuck Nick. Nick's lost a lot of his people, that's for sure. But that doesn't give him any excuse to start shooting up strangers. He was trying to help us. Yeah, and someone died. I ain't no judge, but that's straight up murder in my book. I mean, you ever know anyone to do a thing like that? Lots of people. A woman in our group? Yeah. Lily. Actually, yeah. What happened? A woman in our group. Her dad died, and then she just shot this other woman. Damn. What'd you do? My friend forgave her. Huh. And then she stole our car and left us. Huh. <laughs> That's funny. She looks just like you. Hey, Clem, there's not a lot of food here, and Rebecca, well, she's eating for two. You think we can keep this just between us? I hate to even say it, you know, but... And I'd never go against the group, but I've got to put Beck and the baby first. Rebecca can have it. I won't say anything. Thanks, Clementine. It's a shame. 
Nick was a good guy. He's still a good guy. He's just losing it. God knows we're not perfect. Hell, I'm glad you're with us, Clementine. Give me another juice box, Alvin. Come on. Slide me one. The hell is that? Walkers. We got a problem here. Yeah, we saw it. All right, we're heading up. Forward march, please. Ooh. Well, what are we waiting for? We have to be careful. Careful? We've been on the road for five days. My back is done being careful. Doesn't look like anybody's home. Damn. Nailed down tight. I'll check around front. I'll go with you. Well, it'd be good to know if anybody's actually back there. Could probably get a better view from up top. You'd have an easier time getting up there. You feel like taking a look? I'm actually scared of heights. just like climbing a treehouse. Yeah, just a, a really tall treehouse. I had a treehouse once. Well, there you go. I hated it. Oh. <laughs> Fuck that treehouse. <laughs> Remember when she talked about dropping the stuff Just take it slow, and I'll catch you if you fall. Probably. Got a good grip? Yeah. When I was a kid, we used to jump rooftops downtown. Now that was fun. That sounds stupid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was. The trick was not to look down, though. I grew up in the city myself, and I did exactly the same thing. And not only was it rooftops, but I used to jump on moving trains, too. Yeah. You gotta remember that I was, you know, an 80s kid, so everything when it comes to being outside was, well, what we always did. We always did stuff outside. Being inside, playing video games, so that wasn't a thing back then, really. So we just did some dumb shit. Hey, Luke, you're gonna catch this. I like Luke and Clementine's relationship. Whoa! Whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh, whoa, you're fine. You're fine. Just look at me, okay? You're, you're fine. All right, just, just slow down, just for a second, okay? You just told me not to look. Good point. <laughs> Come on, Luke. Got a raven. Didn't even care. Didn't even attempt to fly off. Hey, raven. Hey, how Made are you? it. See ya. See anything? Well, there's the bridge. I can see the bridge. Oh, there's lights. It's really dark. It's really dark. Anything else? Hold on. Before we click on the lights. Wait. I see something. What is it? A light. But wait, there's another! Luke! Luke! Oh shit. We got company. Luke done rolled out on us. Listen, everyone, just stay calm. Who are you? Are you trying to rob us? Excuse me, honey, but do I look like a fucking thief? Everyone calm down. Hey, man, you calm the fuck down. Sarah, get behind just me. Just tell us who you are. We ain't here to rob nobody. Put the gun down, fuck man. Fuck that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Please, just do what he says. I knew I heard his voice. Kenny? Kenny. Wait, you know this guy? Clementine? 
Oh, Kenny, I can't believe it's you! It's fucking Kenny! <laughs> oh, Kenny! Kenny's alive! I'll take that as a yes. These people with you? We can talk inside. Great. I just started dinner. Are you sure you don't mind? It's gonna storm soon. Please, come in. And he's here! Look at his awesome beard now. That's so fucking kick ass. We got Kenny here. <laughs> Kenny and Sarita have been staying with us for several weeks. Used to be a ski lodge, obviously, so we have plenty of food. And uh, believe it or not, we still get some power from that wind turbine out front. We tend to keep most of the lights off at night to avoid drawing attention. But after we found this stuff in storage, we couldn't resist making an exception. What's funny? Oh, nothing, Walt. Walter here's one smart some bitch. Makes a mean can of beans, too. Well, why don't you two catch up while I get some dinner started? Please, make yourselves at home. You can leave your things over there. The hell we will. Yeah, I'm holding on to my rifle. Thanks. You're our guest here. There's no need to worry. Tell him to put his gun down, then. Kenny? Will you vouch for these people, Clem? If you tell me they're good, then I'm... Us. Good. You were the one waving a gun around, man. We're cool, okay? Hey. Hey, we're cool. We're cool. They're cool. Tree. Not now, Sarah. Isn't it great? We found it all in storage. It's amazing. And he put down his gun. Changed man, I see. Good. If you'll all follow me, I'll show you where you can sleep. Still wearing this dirty old thing, huh? You know, I half expected to see Lee walk up next to you. You guys were like two peas in a pod. Oh shit, I didn't mean to... It's just hard not to think about it, you know? I got him killed. Lee saved me. He saved me. I knew it. I knew he would. That guy had a fire in him, sure as shit. Hell. He was a hell of a guy. When my son, well, he took care of him. I'll never forget that. So, where'd you end up? Everything went wrong. I was with Krista and Omid. I was with Krista and Omid. Omid, well, Krista and I were together for a while. These guys caught us. She's gone. Sounds like it ain't been easy for you. I'm sorry, darling. I wish I could have found you sooner. But everything's gonna be fine now. Krista told me you were dead. I am. This is all a dream. <laughs> sorry, bad joke. For some reason, I tried to save that fucking shitbird, Ben. 
Then it turned into a damn cluster. Couldn't help the kid, but I got out. Long story short, I got lucky. Real lucky. Spent a long time alone after that. It, uh... And then I met Sarita, thank God. Gosh, it's great to have you back. You two catching up? Clem, this is my girl, Sarita. Ain't she beautiful? Nice to meet you, Clementine. Hey, Walt, where's Matthew? He's still out there rooting around? Of course he is. Well, I'll start dinner. Carlos, right? Mind if I steal your daughter for a secret mission? Stay in sight, sweetie. Can we do anything to help? Could use a hand outside. We got a lot of supplies to bring in before that storm hits. Sure. Clem, why don't you help Walt with dinner? Hey, Clementine. Settling in well enough? Yeah, thanks. Excellent. Want to help me prepare a little dinner? So how do you know Kenny? He and Sarita have been a huge help. Matthew and I barely knew what to do around here the first week. But Kenny, well, he never slows down. We're old friends. I met him after it happened. When he was with Lee? Yeah, he only told us a little. Connecting with people is so important. I don't know what I'd do without Matthew. Gosh, you remind me of my students. I can't imagine what it's like growing up in the middle of all this. Everyone on Earth me. I manage this fine. It hasn't been easy. It hasn't been easy. I can imagine. It's hard enough as an adult. Mmm. Almost done. Would you do me the honor of tasting the first course, madam? You're a bean connoisseur, you are. What is it? Looks great. It does. Look at looks it. Looks great. It looks like mush. No, it doesn't. Mm -mm -mm. As an artist, there's nothing I like less than a friendly critic. Huh. Striking resemblance. Anyway, I'll take it from here. Oh, shit. That guy we killed is the other person here, isn't it? Oh, no. That's not good. Runs, that is not good at all. Pick up CD. Cousin Jared's concert, October 13th, 1998. I can't believe we got Kenny here. That is so great. Kenny! Crazy. Lazertronic? Amazing. Put it in there. Lazertronic. Friends, we got Kenny here. He seems like a changed man now, too. It doesn't seem like the same Kenny. Though he's been through a whole ordeal. Maybe the time by himself. Well... He had a lot of time to reflect. Probably changed him. Loving the beard, though. The beard is a nice addition, Ken. Reminds me of school. It kind of does, but we gotta be wary because there was people walking out there. Still. There's... They're talking up here. Oh, so. Oh, Christmas tree! I haven't seen one of these since. What's this song you're humming? Good King Wenceslas. It's my favorite Christmas song. What's it about? Well, it's about a king that brings food to a poor man. The king and his servant march all night through a cold winter storm to reach the man. The storm is very strong. After a long time, it gets so cold that the servant can't go on. But the king tells the servant to just step in his tracks. Mark my footsteps, good my page, tread thou in them boldly. 
Thou shalt find the winter's rage freeze thy blood less coldly. I don't get it. <laughs> it means that doing good things for people can be good for you too. But the servant wouldn't have been out there in the first place if the king hadn't made him. <laughs> good point. You do make a good point, Sarah. I like this surreal lady. She's nice. You're a nice lady. Let's talk. Sing some more, please. You're good. Clem, we could use some help. Hey, Sarah, you take this and string them up over there. You knew Kenny before. It must be incredible to see him again. When I met him, well, he's so different now. But you must be so glad. So, how'd you meet Kenny? I found him holed up in an old restaurant, if you can believe it. Hold up. You should have seen his beard then. Perfect. Now we just need the topper. We always had an angel on top of our tree. My family didn't celebrate Christmas, but I still love the decorations. Can we find an angel? Find a tree topper. Let's go put a can of beans on there. She said an angel? This is not an angel. Oh. Map. Is that where every... I guess they were checking, probably. Looking for supplies. We have a decoration here. What a funny little guy. That's not what... Well, it's probably not what she wants. Funny little guy. Friends, have I said it? But we got Kenny here! <laughs> that is so fucking awesome that we got Kenny here. I love that the game brought Kenny back. In the beginning, I was thinking that there was a possibility, obviously, to see Kenny again, and then... I still feel like there's a possibility to, to see Lily again as well. I know Lee is probably gone for good, but I still am always holding out hope. I just, I, I want to see him again, even if it's a flashback. I don't think, you know, obviously, like I said, Lee's gone. But, I'm thinking Lily will probably be a thing. You see flare? At some point as well. I mean, you have Molly there, then we also have all the cancer people. But I don't think all the cancer people made it. And then we have the 400 days people. They are still a possibility to show up at some point. But they went to like a camp. Remember we sent them all to... Where are you going, Clem? We sent them all to like a camp. Any money in there? Alright, well it seems like we gotta go up the stairs here. Having fun, are we, Sarah? Sarah and Sarita. Sarita seems like a really nice lady. She seems like she's good for Ken. It's crazy. Why would they follow us this far? We can't be sure. It's been a week, man. We gotta be out of the woods. We can't be sure. They might be tracking us. Tracking? Who do you think they are? Ninjas? Clem, Luke said you saw some people in the valley. People? Way down there. How? She's got binoculars, genius. Yeah, yeah. I think someone was following us. How do you know? How does she know? We have to assume they're back there. We cannot take any chances. We leave at dawn. But we're safe here for tonight, right? Clementine, you talked to that man Walter, right? What did he say? You didn't tell him anything about us, did you? We have to be careful. They could be hiding something. He mentioned someone else. Someone else? Who? His friend. His name is Matthew. Look, I don't care what that man said. We're staying here tonight. Just talk to the rest of them. They trust you. See what you can find out. I'm gonna go find Luke. Honey, I, I don't feel so good. Beck, what's wrong? I just need something to drink. You got it. I'll be right back. The other guy's name is Matthew? Well, if his name is Matthew, then... That's definitely the guy, probably, because that knife... It showed an M... W. Hey, Rebecca. She is not doing good. I can imagine it has something to do with that five days of just walking nonstop, barely eating anything. Are you okay? Just got a little dizzy. I can't even take care of myself. How am I supposed to raise a child? I mean, 
How can anyone now? Everything's so fucked up. I think it's possible. How do you know? Well, I'm still here. I know it's gonna be hard. But at the same time, I already feel a little less lonely. Because I know that no matter what happens, I'll get to meet someone new. She's kicking. Wanna listen? That food smells good, huh? It's okay. We're gonna get you something soon. Can I? She's gonna be a runner. If he finds out it's not his, he'll kill me. I don't know what to do. I can't believe I'm asking a little girl for advice. But I guess nothing's weird anymore. He won't kill you. There's my man. You all right, baby? I'm fine, you big dope. Just <laughs> need to get some food in you. Thanks for staying with her, Clem. Can you go ask that Walter guy when we're gonna eat? I love you, silly bear. I hate it when you call me that. What's up, know, Alvin? But I mean it. I love you too. You get some rest now. We can't go over there. I like that she asked Clem, kinda. Like, she's... It's funny because Clem's still a child and she's given her reinsurance because, you know, I'm a child, I'm still here, so... Your child can make it too. That's really cool. I really love that. Oh, here's the angel. Star. Put another bulb on the top. Here you go, Sarah. There's another bulb. Let's do... The angel? Pop the angel right on. She looks so cool. Beautiful. Uh, I used to love this time of year. You know, now that your friends are here, this place is starting to feel like a real home. Matthew and Walter are amazing people. Honestly, it's dangerous to be this kind, but they can't help it. Wait until you meet Matthew. He's a real character. The first time he, he met me, he called me Rita. So I call him Maddie now. Where is Matthew? Oh, he likes to go on long walks. He and Walter used to vacation here. He should be back soon. Clem, I wanted to ask you, does Kenny seem different to you? I didn't know him before, and, well, I'm curious. The same he Kenny? Has good he days and bad days like everyone else. But lately I get the feeling he's struggling. He seems like the same old Kenny to me. Oh, well, that's good. Well, you three have been busy. Kenny, isn't it great? I got it, huh? I think I can manage, Ken. I said I got it. Always has to play the gentleman. But I'll tell you, when I met him, he couldn't lift a fly. Well, everyone, dinner is served. Come on, let's eat. You okay, man? Yeah, I'm just... I wish I hadn't pulled that trigger. Just try to forget about it. Right here, Clem! Right here, Clem. Oh, we gotta pick a spot. Sit with Luke. Sit with Kenny. Alright, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save here, and when we get back, we're gonna make, well, a decision to sit with the person that we're gonna sit with. I feel like in the last conversation we just had with the lady, I wanted to say Kenny's different because he's... I feel like Kenny's different in a good way now than what he was when we last seen him. But I didn't want to take the chance to say that and it would say that, well, Kenny seems different and like in a bad way. I didn't want to take the chance, so we'll just say that it was the same old Kenny to, to us because, okay. And Kenny seems like he's in a good spot. Look at Luke, he's about to cry. <laughs> Luke, you okay? 
Oh, we're gonna have the sisters to make sit with Kenny, sit with Luke, sit with the old crew, the new crew. Oh, this is kind of rough. This is really good so far. I love that Kenny is here. I feel like we are gonna be in some shit with this gentleman because, hey, Ken, waving to us. Clem, over here, it's getting cold. But this gentleman, he brought up the fact about the other guy. And, well, I believe the other guy has to be the person that Nick shot. Gotta be, because the knife... Oh, shit. Go back to when we first put our bag down. The knife was showing. Oh, my word. I feel like that's going to be bad. Because that knife was showing outside of the bag for a reason. Oh, this is... Well... Let's just, I, I don't know how this is going to go, because we don't know where, if that was exactly the guy that's part of this group, but the WM on the knife, I think that plainly gives it away. That's, well, yeah. I feel like we're in trouble. But now we got to sit with, oh, I don't know who to pick to sit with. I feel like I want to do Kenny, but I feel like I also want to do Luke. Well, we'll leave that decision for next episode. Like I said, things are getting really interesting. We have this whole situation with this Carver person still. I still feel like the Carver has some kind of state with Rebecca here and the baby. The whole family thing where Clem was talking to Luke. That seemed like it was foreshadowing. And then the way she was acting about, what's he looking for me? Basically, I feel like that is the thing. Look. When she has the kid, it's going to be obvious who the kid is. Without... Getting a blood test, so it's either going to be Alvin's or somebody else's, depending if it's actually his. Depending if it's actually Carver, because, well, Carver and Alvin are two different. They're different people, let's just say that. Anyways, I'm looking forward to seeing where this is going to go. I'm so stoked that Kenny is here. Oh, the game put Kenny back in the second season. That is so fucking awesome. I love that. And he seems like a changed man. Kenny seems pretty awesome right now. Well, he still snapped at her a little bit. Give me the box. Like, okay, that's still the same old Kenny pretty much. But I love the fact that he survived all that. And we get to see somebody from the first season. Like I said, we still have, hey, Kenny, still waving. Clem, over here. Cold as, cold as ice, these beans are. <laughs> we still have things that we might see. We might see other people. I'm still hoping we're going to find Krista. I really hope we find her. It doesn't even look like we're even attempting to try to find Krista. I'm guessing we're just going to wind up stumbling on her at some point. Or her course, but I rather hope that is not the case. We're just going to take it for what it is from here, friends. When we get back, like I said, we're going to pick uh, a table to sit down and just go with it. But anyways, I'm out of here. Have a good one. Stay safe. See you next time. Take care.